club. Much of the first half play floundered in the mud, though Bernie Slaven so nearly put Middlesbrough in the lead midway through. If the game wasn't too great, you could always admire the linesman's classy ball skills. Bottom of the third division, Darlington rarely threatened, and this shot from Mark Hine was the sum total of their attacking efforts. During the interval, a figure clad in orange and bearing an uncanny resemblance to Mark Page was observed adding to the local litter problem. Borough's problem was turning second-half supremacy into goals. Archie Stevens' strong running made this opening, but neither Slaven nor Gary Hamilton could take advantage. With 66 minutes gone, though, Ward could only flick Hamilton's corner to the waiting Slaven, and the Scot had no trouble finding the Darlington net for his 19th goal of the season. Borough was surely about to take another giant step towards the second division. The home side were rampant now. Gary Gill's header so nearly made it two, four minutes later. From the resulting corner, Gary Pallister's challenge produced a chance for skipper Tony Mowbray, but his fellow central defender blazed over. Archie Stevens was next to try and put the issue beyond doubt, but the damp had clearly got into his shooting boots. Having weathered the onslaught, there was always the danger of Darlington snatching an equaliser, and that's exactly what Alan Roberts did in spectacular fashion six minutes from time. Another former Middlesbrough player, one of six in the Darlington squad today, Roberts gave the beleaguered Quakers a glimmer of hope, while the final scoreline of one all left promotion chasing Borough still in third place in the table. Well, the top teams, the Swindons and the Bournemouths, Notts Counties, Wiggins, they all have to play each other at some stage or other between now and the end of the season. And I think we have to entertain Gillingham and Wigan at home of, of the top five or six. So it is a dog-eat-dog -dog situation. And uh, we'll just have to keep battling on and playing and trying to play football. And at the end of the day, if we do that, if we